Hey, we're two fat guys. And we just watched A History of Violence. Yeah, but just one of them. There's a lot of histories of violence. We picked one at random. Yep. Um, with Viggo Mortensen. Uh, it was really good. Mm hmm Ned Harris is also really good. Man, Ned Harris is creepy as fuck. Mm hmm Um, he sort of always is. I've never seen Ned Harris and gone, ah, oh, that character warmed the cockles of my heart. Truman Show. He did not warm the cockles of my heart. He had this glorious vision. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, buddy. Just like Hitler! He's... He's... I, that was that was all him. It was the internet. I needed to ruin the recent discourse of the internet by God and slaying it. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. That's, um, how they, that's how they know it's on the internet. Someone's been compared to Nazis in the first minute. <laughs> well, we are on the internet. So. Uh, makes sense. Alright, so history of violence. Neither of us have seen it. Nope. No, nah, spoilers. There will be spoilers. I'm sure. So, watching the movie is full of spoilers. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> uh, yeah, so that... that is this the first one? Is there, no, well, there are plenty of awful movies. That's right. It's the first, I think, good movie that neither of us have seen. Yeah. Well, Blade and Trinity. I've seen Blade Trinity. Blade 2. No, oh, neither of us have seen Blade 2. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Comment rescinded. Um, but one of the very few, I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's a bird that's playing Superman. It's the ones we enjoy. That's a good one. Superman ones. 3. Stop confusing things here, Sam. <laughs> it is a movie, and neither of us have seen it up to this one. Uh, um, yeah, it was really, it was really good. Um, I really want to see it. wasn't as good as you wanted it to be. No, but I I was fine with it. I was fine with where it went in the end, and honestly, like I said, I, as I know as I'm watching, like sort of my reaction, I could feel like okay, I feel like most of the negative things I'm having are just that it didn't go to the place I wanted it to, and that's fine. It's not that the place it went to is bad. Just in my mind, I was like, oh, I think it'd be fun if they did this, and they did. Mm -hmm. Because um, I was hoping that he wouldn't be, uh, you know, the person that they think he is. He wouldn't actually have this. Here's the general plot. Um, so this guy, small town guy, mm -hmm. and like these couple robbers come into the diner where he works uh, and like hold up the place in a very violent manner. It's history violence. It's only only hand of violence. In the and he uh, kills them like handily. Um, but, like, he becomes this, like, small-town hero, and all these news outlets are showing Check him, like, yeah. yeah, like, oh, he rescued these people who were in the diner, and, uh, and then these, like, mob people from Philadelphia are like, oh, hey, there's that guy that Nothing. we're all after. Uh, so they kind of come after him, and they're like, hey, remember us? And he's like, what? what? No, I don't, what are you talking about? That's crazy. Who? What? Why they're would you quite. say that? They're quite pro. Yeah. They're pretty close to vegans. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, I've been studying a lot. It's pretty good. Uh, but you didn't want him to be that guy. I didn't. I really wanted it to be like these mobsters are like convincing this guy and like keep ruining his life and then he just snaps and like ends up killing them. I mean, he, small town guy, you know, a lot of small town guys yeah. have guns, go to shooting ranges and stuff. Like a lot of my dad and yeah. uncles and stuff, they go to shooting ranges, they shoot around. They don't, they're not like military trained or anything. They don't join militias like the crazy people in Michigan. But, I mean, I think, we, you know, they're not totally incapable. They're not like, oh, a gun, what do we do? Like the wife when she... Yeah, like the white Or they're like, man, you should have seen him kill these people. I'm like, he, th he hit a guy in the face with coffee, which, like, I think I can handle. And then he picked up a gun and, and shot at a guy like this. He wasn't, like, leaping over... He, wasn't he leaped like, over the counter. He jumped over the counter. I think I could eventually get over a counter. In time for the other guy who was pulling a gun on you to take the gun from the other guy and then shoot him? He didn't move pretty slow because he's not like the Flash. I think the movie moved pretty slow. I think if you take that in context, he would have to be moving pretty quickly. But the shooting skills, he might just be an athletic guy. Like, the actual shooting skills displayed were not anything like, clearly this guy is also, a trained marksman. It's a small town news thing. They're, they're not going to be like, well, he did okay and defended this bar. They're like, oh, local hero, like, come see us. Yes, like, but the way, the way it happened, it could be that he was a small town. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. That it didn't like the way he shot them didn't eliminate what I wanted to happen. That he's just a small town guy and he ends up like fighting these mobsters and because mm -hmm. they think he's someone else. And at the end, Joey shows up like, "Hey, what's going on? I'm from Philly." <laughs> it looks nothing like Viggo Mortensen. Like, what? He's You're a, the guy. He's a ginger and <laughs> and black. He's a black, black ginger. ginger. Blinger. A blinger. No. You're a blinger. <laughs> that sounds offensive somehow. <laughs> Listen, ain't call. Nope. 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 <laughs> Whoa. So, uh, yeah, except, I mean, I, I didn't, I had, I believed wholeheartedly he was that guy, considering he had 
a history of violence. That's the thing. It just seemed <laughs> like it. Like, like it seemed like the film was going that way. And when I saw like the trailers, I thought, okay, he probably is this guy. He's like this a small town guy with like a storm underneath mm-hmm. him. Um, and I'd be cool if it wasn't. Like, no, he's just a small town guy. Stop fucking with him, Bob. Which, which I did. I did like how long it took before they did admit that it was him. Yeah, like, it, it was. At least people already said spoilers. Like Ed Harris was virtually dead at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, I was surprised that it. Uh, I, I like the other group of mob. I I hope they would do that. Like once they confirm that it is him, like I hope he like just goes and like kills the mob who's out there. I'm like, they're like stop following me. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly what happened. Like they called him in, but once he got there, he's like, hey, can we? Could you just let me live? And they're like, no. <laughs> and he's like, well, okay. All right, you're all dead. <laughs> Now I'm going to drive back and have dinner. <laughs> dinner I'm going to have sex with my wife. It's going to take like two minutes for you to remember how dinner works, but once I do... <laughs> uh, my kid knows. She, she's, on, she's on the ball. She's, like, she, she knows she's waiting like, Am I, is an adult going to... Fine, I'll, I'll get his plate. I don't know why, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It put me in the mind, just, just sort of the slow tension building, put me in the mind to watch a lot of Cooper films. He, uh, never, he never put on a costume, though. So yeah, the big letdown. DC dementia. I kind of want to read the comic. I don't know how that would. I don't know how that story would be on the comic. <laughs> shot for shot, like because well, it's a lot of it's like Watchmen level. Of, I've never read a comic that has sort of slow building tension like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I'd be interested to see how it played out differently. I think it worked really well. The The Walking Dead comic has a lot of that more than you think based on the show. Um, yeah, there's a lot of just that like long long build. Mm-hmm. Like high tension, slow build stuff. Which is really Just, great. It, it works. It works so well with with watching on film and like oh yeah, the it's shots way to do, easier to do and the, and the music. Yeah, because I mean, being a Kubrick fan, I mean, <laughs> clearly I love that sort of stuff. Yeah, where you sit there until you think you're going insane. <laughs> when you're like, you, when I want to shout in the movie theater just so a noise happens. <laughs> <laughs> And look at me really weird in my presentation. Oh, like the, the um, there's a there's a room in. Oh, I'm gonna screw this up. Internet. Sorry. I want to say it's in Minnesota. It's like some college mm-hmm. that has a the a room that is the Guinness record for the quietest room. It's like at negative decibels. It's like a super crazy soundproof room. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like, I think it's used for like conducting experiments and sound and stuff like that. But like for fun, they just like, they like put people in there mm-hmm. and no one has been able to like stand being in the room longer than like 45 minutes. Are you allowed to make noise? Yeah, probably. But like, if you you seriously you start to hallucinate because of the silence, because it's so quiet in there, your ears like start to like turn up the gain basically, and you can like hear your own blood flow in your head and like every single noise your body makes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently, it just drives people insane. I kind of want to try this now. And I saw, I was, I was reading this, it was like an article online, and in the comments, one person was like, I'm deaf, like, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, well played. I'd love to watch 2001 in there. Because already, man, in the movie theaters, <laughs> I was about screaming, is there actually air noise from the film, or is that just air in the room? Am I hearing air? <laughs> Um, so yeah, man, I kind of, I kind of want to watch you watch that movie. I think, I think it'd be a good experiment for everyone. Like, if you put me in that room and, like, project that Can film. Can put you in the clockwork orange chair? I, I would rather not. I think I would have bad oh, reactions so definitely to into the clockwork orange chair, then. Well, see, I want, I want to have the ability to, like, thrash around, because I'm actually, eventually I'll start to attack the room. And I think that'd be a good treat for well, everyone. yeah, we're going to put you in the clockwork orange chair. We're not going to tie it too tight. Okay, so I can <laughs> thrash out of it. <laughs> yeah, eventually you'll be able to get out. All right, but it's gonna take a, a crazy level of thrashing. Okay, that that seems agreeable, though. <laughs> That's a good Although, the only thing is, the eye thing, I would need my glasses on, so it'd be hard to work it out and make sure my glasses, because I won't be able to see the film otherwise. <laughs> well, we'll give you laser corrective surgery and then put you. <laughs> yeah, but I still have to wear glasses because look, we were that glasses. Your story, your you're going to be strapped in a chair with your eyeballs peeled open. Yeah, I don't want to look weird. <laughs> He doesn't get me. Uh, so, a history of violence. <laughs> which Still is, on topic, Which, always. as you can tell, is what this video is about. Um, yeah, watch it if you haven't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's pretty good. Hour and a half, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, it was... It was oh, I mean, for a lot of the slow build stuff, it was surprisingly well-paced. Yeah, it felt a solid hour and a half. It's not the 2001 hour and a half that is three hours long. <laughs> uh, it is... It is well, well put together. I enjoyed it. Um... 
think there'd be a sweet drinking game to it. You get it on off the alcohol that would. Every time there's violence, drink. Yeah, that's a lot of drinking. Yeah, but it's a short burst. So. I get it. All right, so, um, also, uh, our first full frontal nudity of the two marathons. That's true. The heat. And also, just to be, just, Bobby, we have lots of full frontal nudity in the three films. Just blue peep everywhere. Oh, man. Just slap you in the face with it. We got the extended edition, so it's extra extended blue peep. I was, I was going to ask, if because I, I was thinking, I was like, is, is there, is there going to be any penis anywhere in these marathons? And, yeah, watch. <laughs> Unless you don't count blue penis. If so, <laughs> tons of penis. Yes, like a metric everywhere. ton of penis. Like, well, he's, I mean, he's giant, so it's like the size of a bus. Well, that and he can control his own density, so... So it, why wouldn't you? Why would be you? a metric ton of penis. That's true. Even at his normal size. That's true. That would hurt. <laughs> not if you're not if you're Dr. Manhattan. I guess, but it seems I mean, like, yeah, it'd hurt you. I don't think if Dr. Manhattan looked at your penis and made it weigh a metric ton. Oh, don't give me that idea. He could do because he's <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. Uh, yeah, that would be painful. So, history of violence is pretty good, and you should see it. No one turns anyone's penis into a metric ton. That would be pretty violent. Good historical. Uh, but next up, we have Batman Begins. Batman Begins. Begins. The beginning of Batman. The beginning. 